There are certain things that you have to know about exercise and why it is so essential. First, exercise actually increases the growth of the brain. Second, it increases growth hormone, testosterone, all our youthful hormones, which are so important to keeping us healthy. It suppresses our stress hormones or aging hormones like cortisol, which cause us to age rapidly. Third, it increases our metabolism and at the same time decreases our weight. And finally, exercise has clearly been shown to decrease depression and, you know, it's a good way to meet a lot of new people and is a lot of fun. And another interesting thing that has come out, it shows that when you exercise, it actually stimulates a hormone that tells you you want to exercise more. And that is one of the reasons why once people start exercising, they actually get hooked on it. It is a wonderful drug and one that will keep you healthy and one that will keep your mind sharp. There used to be years ago, we used to say that brain and brawn didn't mix. But in fact, now we know that building brawn actually builds brain. This is not a mystical concept. This is a fact. So let's start the program. Let's start with the Fort Formula Home and Office Program that can be done anywhere at any time. We have Aaron Stone, uh, one of our members uh, to the DEER program. Aaron is 50 years of age, believe it or not. Uh, he's 15 years my junior, by the way. Aaron, let's go through some of the isometric Ford formula with the audience. First, we're going to do the type that deals with our biceps and our triceps. And I call it the Ford formula because it's a combination of both super slow and isometric exercises. Isometric exercises really came into the forefront in the 1960 and 1964 Olympics when the Russians were doing it and we weren't. First, what we, way we start off is putting one fist upon the other about six inches away from our chest, all right? And what we will be doing is bringing our elbows slightly in, all right? And uh, what will occur is we start with our biceps. So we bring our arm down. What I always tell everybody is first warm up, and that is do a couple of little pumps. What we're doing is we're pushing up with the left arm, with the bicep, all right? Then we're pushing down with the tricep on the opposite side. So we do that a couple of times just to warm up the joints. Now begin always about 20% power. We start from the bottom and we push up to the center slowly at a count of five. One, two, three, four, five. And at that point we hold it for 10 seconds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. About this time, you're going to start feeling your muscle burning. I always tell you and I warn you, don't use maximum power until you've been doing this for a while. You use 50% of the power. Then, after ten, you start up again. One, two, three, four, five. Always bringing up the left arm for the bicep, at the same time resisting with your tricep in your other arm. And then down again. Ready? One, two, three, four, five. Count ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Down. One, two, three, four, five. Stop. And then up. One, two, three, four, five. Stop. A count of ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10. If you have uh, one of the nice things about this, this can actually be done with music. So we change the hand, all right? So we're going to be pushing down with the left, all right? 
pulling up with the right. We will begin right here as we did with the bicep. All right. We will first we we will first push down. Right. Ready. One, two, three, four, five. Then back up. One, two, three, four, five. Trying to resist all the time with the left tricep, and now pushing down with the left tricep with the left hand on top of the right hand. One. Counts to 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then pushing up with the bicep, but resisting with the left hand. One, two, three, four, five. And then down again. One, two, three, four, five. Hold it there for now another 10 count. And then down once again. One, two, three, four, five. And then once again, up, one, two, three, four, five. And one will see that you do five sets. Once again, you begin slowly, 20% of power. Increase it to 50% of power till you feel that you could do this safely and at full power. And I don't really recommend anyone to doing that for at least a month or two. And if you have any problems with your joints, with your shoulders, with your elbows, or if you start feeling pain, you should decrease the amount of power that, or resistance that you're making it. Now, one of the reasons why this works so well and better than doing this type of just pumping all the time is because our governor uh, here in California, Schwarzenegger, one of the reasons why he claims he won so many titles is because he used both eccentric and concentric muscles. And that means concentric is bringing it up against resistance eccentric is going down in the opposite direction. Most people, when they do exercises, you know, what they're doing, they do this real quick and then they just drop. And so they don't use the muscles going in either direction and minimize really the work on the muscle rather than keeping the muscle in action all the time. Not only that, but we call this the Fortinace slow burn method. And you'll find, isn't it true, that after you've been doing it for a while, your muscle actually burns. And when that is occurring, it is giving off a signal that goes to the brain. To the, it's called brain-derived trophic factor, which actually goes to the area of memory to stimulate more blood vessels, more brain cells, and more connections between the brain cells. This is a fact. So we finished the bicep and the tricep, all right? The third part is what we call the chest press. You take one hand, either the left or the right, whichever you'd like. You have your arms parallel with the ground, all right? And what we do is we press them together, all righty? If you a count of 10, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. Now, this builds up the chest muscles, which is so important when you're trying to eat something or pick something up in front of you. Uh, it strengthens your, your back in addition, uh, your trapezius, your rhomboids, which are important for pulling. But the second part of this is interlocking your hands like this. So, Interlocking, right, perfect. All right, and then, once again, parallel with the ground, the hands maybe six inches from your chest, you pull slowly, one. In increasing the pressure each time. Remember, never going above 50% of full power, especially at the beginning, even less. As you get better and you don't have any joint injury, you can go to maximum, ready? And what this is going to do, this is going to build up the trapezius, rhomboids, and also you're going to be, this is the trapezius, this is the rhomboids in here, okay, and this is the latissimus dorsi. Now pull, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, relax. Only relax for three seconds. Now again, one, two, three, Four. Well, what you will do is you will do five repetitions, each one of 10 seconds. Now, one of the major problems 
as people get older, especially in the sixth, seventh, and eighth decade, uh, are shoulder problems. You know, you get out there, you're playing golf, you know, you're doing any type of racket sport, tennis, and all of a sudden you begin realizing, gee, that shoulder, you could barely move it. It aches at night. Well, one of the reasons what happens is people often then stop doing anything. And so their shoulders begin to atrophy and get weak. And one of the things that a lot of people don't recognize is you go from 50 to 80 years of age, you will lose approximately 25 to 30 percent of your strength fibers. You'll just lose them. And this is one of the reasons why, as people get older, they have a tendency to fall. Let's take the shoulder, for instance. What we want to try to do is build up our rotator cuff. One of the ways to do it is sideways here, so you can see how my arm is at 90 degree angle, all right? Uh, from the front, you can see where it is, all right? Away from my body, it's not in, it's not out, all right? And you start with the arm, the fist, just in front of your stomach, all right? And then what you slowly do is rotate it out and then resist bringing it in, all right? So we go like this, all right? We start from the, from the, uh, the middle just like we did with the fist, right? Now, you could either do it with the hand on top of the fist or I feel the hand over the wrist is really the best way. Okay, you got that? Okay, got it. And just like that, arm um, here, okay. okay, nice and straight. Okay. And what we're going to do is now hold this for a count of 10 as we use this arm to go out resisting with the opposite arm. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now, you can now do a little exercise like this. There's a variance of this. You can bring the arm out even further, and we can go with a slow movement. One, two, three, four, five, then hold it for five. One, two, three, four, five, and then bringing it in, but resisting all the way through. One, two, three, four, five. This will build, why don't you si stand sideways, Aaron, okay? Take a look at the deltoid, okay? Do it, uh, bring it out, and you can see the deltoid, the infraspinatus, what we call the sit muscle, the supraspinatus, infra infraspinatus, and teres, all being used. And this, this is, these are the muscles for the rotator cuff. And by the way, where are you doing this? You're doing this at work? You're doing this at home? You can do this sitting down, standing up. You can actually do what I call double duty, and that is you're reading, doing your work, studying, and at the exact same time, you're doing these isometric ex exercises. You're doing both neurobics and physical exercise at the exact same time. This is revolutionary, and you can do it, and you can do it at home. So that's as far as the upper extremity. So once again, what we have is the bicep pushing up, all right? Tricep pushing down, all right? The next we have the chest press, all right? And then the chest pull, and then finally external rotation for the deltoid and rotator cuff. And that is of the, the upper extremities. Now, let's take a look at what we can do with the home program. And this should not take you any more than five minutes to do. You're doing five repetitions of each one. So each repetition may take you anywhere between 10 and 20 seconds. Now we'll look at the lower extremities. And there is actually four exercises that we're going to be doing. One is the squat. The second one is the adductors and that is the gluteus medius, which are so important and often atrophy, especially in the seventh and eighth decade. And one of the major reasons for hip problems and also 
falls. Then we're going to do the hamstrings and finally the gastrox. The way we begin, once again, is that we start with a very comfortable position, feet, shoulder length apart, Aaron, why don't you come on in and we'll demonstrate this. And we go down first, very slowly, at a five second rate until we hit a spot where we feel comfortable but our quadriceps are really starting to come into play. So we start, we could either have a chair in front of us if we'd like to support us, especially if you have a little imbalance or if you have any problems with sensation in your feet. So we, we make believe we have a chair, I'm going to make believe I have a chair, it'll be a phantom chair, right? And we go down, ready? One, two, three, four, five. Now we're at a point where we feel that we're comfortable but we're really uh, contracting these quadriceps and we hold that for 10. We can even put our hands on our knees like this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and then we come up slow. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And all the time we're holding our abdomen firm, we're squeezing our buttocks so that we're keeping all the core muscles in tone and we're using them so that they don't atrophy and that they do hypertrophy and that what we're doing is using that muscle to get it to the point where it actually burns. And at that point, once again, we're going to be sending a message to the brain to both increase the muscle size and also at the same time, increase brain size. There's a variation that we can do. One is by starting at the seated position. Uh, once again, what we do is we throw our weight forward. And once again, if there's any problem with balance, you can have a chair in front of you. And you lift yourself up so you're barely off the chair. Okay, so here we go. Lean forward, hold it there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Down. Wait three seconds. One, two, three. Up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Down. Do that five times, and believe me, the third time you can do it. So one we did here, one we did here, and the third one you could actually, another variation is that you lean forward, come on up, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now, I will tell you, you do five of them, your heart is going to be racing like mine is right now. I'll check my pulse. You check it for 15 seconds, I have 24 beats. I am within my range for 65 years of age. I'm about 110, okay? And here's the side view of what we're talking about. As you notice, the body and the shoulders are over the heels and actually almost over your toes, all right? So we're moving up, ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Back. So, and in fact, if you have difficulty doing it, you could actually keep your buttocks on the chair and try lifting up if you have a chair in front of you. All of this, the most important thing is you're exercising your quadriceps, an essential muscle for going upstairs, going downstairs, and ambulating or walking anywhere. The next uh, exercise that we do is we sit nice and comfortable in a chair. We have, once again, our legs at shoulder length, all right? Uh, we put our hands on the side of our knees and we just bend forward just slightly. Once again, keeping good posture, holding in the stomach, and what we're going to do is we're going to push our legs out, like in this direction, all right? Just slightly. And at the same time, we're going to be resisting with our arms. With this exercise, we're actually doing two things. We're building up our chest. Besides, we're building up the gluteus medius. Already? And what we do 
is that there's two ways of doing it. One is just the pure isometric, which is this. We count to 10, pushing out. So essentially what I'm doing is pushing out this direction, resisting with my arms. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. This is really a lot of fun. Relax, all right? Now another variation of this is you can bring in your knees close and then push out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and at your, when you're all the way out, then hold it there for another five. One, two, three, four, five. And you will really see that those muscles in your buttocks will not only make you look better, but it'll make you much more stable. So that's the second exercise. exercise is for the hamstrings. Now with this one once again one is seated very comfortably. You move out your legs so that the heels are resting on the ground. Then what you're going to do is dig the heels downwards and contract the muscles that we call the hamstrings right here. All right and we're going to do this at the count of 10. There'll be no movement in this exercise. So here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Look, we've done it. And some people may want to hold on to the chair, right? Because they may slip off, uh, especially people who have really powerful legs. So you hold on to either side of the chair, or if you have an armchair, you can hold on there. And you do it once again. One, two, three, four, five, on to 10 five repetitions, stopping for only three seconds between each repetition. You do a total of five, and that is one set. The nice thing about this, you could do this two or three times a day, and within a 10-minute period, even an eight-minute period, if you do it correctly, you can get all these exercises, both of the upper and lower extremities, done and have a tremendous workout. The final exercise is really exercising one's gastroc, that is the calf muscle. This is essential, especially for walking, walking upstairs and walking downstairs. So what one wants to do here, I'll turn sideways, but what you can use a chair in front of you uh, for to stabilize yourself. But what we're going to do is come up at a count of five to full extension, okay? So up one, two, three, four, five, hold it there for a 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, then come down very slow. One, two, three, four, five. Not really ever hitting the ground with your heel. And when you get down to almost hitting the ground, you come up again. One, two, three, four, five, hold it for 10, one, two, three, four, and so forth. And you go back down and you continue with that tension. Now, for those individuals who may have difficulty with this, you could easily cut it down to three seconds coming up, three seconds holding it. And you do this and you're varying until you can get to the point where you can do five seconds up, holding it for 10 seconds, five seconds down. And once, a do once again, doing five repetitions. Now, some people may want to do two sets of five repetitions with each one of these exercises. That'll really vary according to your ability. And remember, if something hurts, stop or reduce the pressure that you're using on it. You could actually, when you're doing these, if you're having trouble with your calves or a knee, uh, you could lean on the chair, all right, and then come up and take some of the weight but at least the calves are getting some exercise. And all of these can be varied. Well, let's go, I'll go into the gym and start the, uh, what I call the Fort Formula Circuit Program. And you're going to like this. This is a lot of fun. Now 
we're into the fault formula circuit program. One of the reasons why this is revolutionary is because you can use half the weight that you usually do and protect your joints and your tendons. And at the same time, maximizing your muscle workout in order to produce an enzyme that will provoke the brain to produce more brain cells, as I had mentioned several times before. Now, this program can be done within a half hour period, even 20 minutes, or you can lengthen it and do some uh, aerobic exercises in between. The importance is that you go from one exercise to another, making sure as you're going from one exercise to the other that you take your pulse and make sure that it is in with your training zone. So once again, if you're about 60 years of age, that would be between 96 and 112 beats per minute, or 24 to 28 beats every 15 seconds. Remember, if you cannot do the exercises in the gym, you always have the fourth formula to do at home. We start off with the chest press. Once again, do it with about 50% of the weight that you normally would use. And what I want to do is demonstrate something to you that's extremely important, is that I want you to take time. I'm going to do what one normally would do at, uh, in a gym. And let's say 10 to 15 repetitions. We'll do just 10. And I want you to show you the way the normal person does these, uh, what, that at least I see at the gym. And this is their typical repetition. And, and test how much time it takes. All right? Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That took about ten seconds. Not only that, but you were only using concentric muscle. You were all pushing for a short period of time, and then most people, they just collapse actually giving the muscle a chance to relax. And so not get to that point where it really burns and has to hypertrophy, that is, increase in size in order to take care of the workforce that is being required by the slow and isometric method. So let's do, there's two variances that I, I one is an advanced and one is a basic. One begins uh, with a slow method, and what one does is increase it but over five seconds to an area where you're at maximum strength. All right, so here we go. Uh, I'm using a nice light weight, 50% of what I normally would use for a regular bench press, and I would say go down to only one quarter of what you need, usually would use if you find, if you cannot do more than five of these fairly easily. But what you want to do is at the end of five, your muscles should be starting to burn. And when you get into a more advanced uh, shape, and that is in better condition, then you can get to the point where you can barely do five. All right? Now, we start off, ready? One, two, three, four, five. And at this point, I'm going to hold it for five seconds. And I usually go as I go, go, one, two, three, four, five, then hold. One, two, three, four, five, go. One, two, three, four, five. Five. And as you notice, I don't straighten out the elbows automat all the way. What I do is I still keep them mildly flexed. And at this point, I say stop. All right? And then I wait a second, and then I come back. One, two, three, four, five. Once again, where I'm at an uh, advantageous point where I'll hold it for five seconds. One, two, three, four, five. Five, and that's the isometric part. And then once again, the super slow part. One, two, three, four, five, and back again. Now let's try once again. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, hold. One, two, three, four, five, go. One, two, three, four, five, hold. Back again. One, two, three, four, five, hold, one, two, three, four, five, go, one, two, three, four, five, hold, then go, one, two, three, four, five, hold, and it's just at this one midsection is where you're doing your isometric. Now there's a variance of this that you can do, 
And the variance is, uh, remember, you're going through five repetitions, never stopping, never giving your muscles a chance to rest. And this is the reason why this is so effective. I will show you later how much, how much I have increased in strength by doing this exercise. All right, now let's, uh, let's take it for what I would call the advanced method, okay? The advanced method, you start off with a five second hold of isometric. One, two, three, four, five, go. One, two, three, four, five, hold. One, two, three, four, five, go. One, two, three, four, five, hold. And then once again, you're going to hold it. Elbows are bent. One, two, three, four, five, go. One, two, three, four, five, hold. One, two, three, four, five, go. One, two, three, four, five, hold. And once again, you hold it for five seconds and you go through it all over again. Do five repetitions. And you can do a total of two sets. And I usually do is go around, just make the entire circuit. All right, so that is the chess. You know, one of the reasons why people seem to enjoy doing aerobics is because they can put on a headset and listen to the beat. And there's no doubt there's physiological reason why actually music increase in cer increases certain endorphins, which stimulate the brain. And more or less what I had mentioned, you're doing double duty. One thing, you're building up your positive hormones, growth hormone, testosterone, estrogen, and thyroid through music and through exercise. So this type of exercise increases your youthful hormones, and at the same time, it's decreasing your aging hormone, cortisol, because exercise is one of the best ways to relax. One of the interesting experiments they did with rats was that when they would stimulate them or shock them or put them under stress, their cortisol or aging hormone would go way up. But if they had a treadmill in order to run with and got them on the treadmill, their cortisol level went straight down and remained very low. If they did not have a place to run, their stress level remained extremely high. Exercise is one of the best stress relievers that there are. Now, let's try to do this and make this fun. And as I had mentioned, when you do when you're running, sometimes you could run to a beat. Well, this type of exercise, the Fort Formula Circuit Program, also can be done to the beat. That's what makes it so much fun. Watch this. All ready? And we'll start the music. Ready? Uh, and we'll go to the beat. I'll yell it out. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, four, five. One, two, three, 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 four, five. And you can see when I'm in uh, the isometric uh, part, I, instead of holding it right there, I just pump a little in the same position. As I come up, I go one right with the beat. I hit the mid area of maximum strength, and I do a five pump here. One, two, three, four, five. And you can see how much fun. This is two music, all right? One, two, three, four, five. Hold. One, two, three, four, five. Go. One, two, three, four, five. Hold. Two, three, four, five, go. One, two, three, four, five, hold. One, two, three, four, five. And really, you're doing this to music. How much fun can you have? I mean, you're working out, you're singing. And really, by the way, you can be doing neurobics. And one of the, the third method, the third step, I will be teaching you how to do neurobics at the exact, exact same time as you're doing these physical exercises. Now let's go to the second exercise and we'll rapidly go through the rest. Well, the second exercise is called the rows. And you'll see there's a method to our madness. Each time when we're using a muscle, we're doing one that has not been taxed as much as the previous one had been. So that allows us to be able to continue to do these exercises and also 
to do an exercise that strengthens our core muscles of our upper extremities. So right now we're going to be doing an exercise called the rose which will strengthen our trapezius, our latissimus dorsi, and our rhomboid, actually our back muscles, which is so important anytime we lift anything in front of us. What we're going to do is, once again, we're going to do five repetitions. And each repetition will take approximately 15 to 30 seconds, according to the music that you use. Generally, if you're doing without, this should take approximately 24 seconds. So, grabs the inner handles, all right, and always keeping the arms a little flex. Remember, we never relax in the five repetitions that we're going to do when we start. One, two, three, four, five. We get to an area uh, which is about 50% 50 50 through the exercise, and we hold for five. One, two, three, four, five, and then we bring it all the way in with the elbows out, pulling, 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 or five, and then we say hold, and then we let go. One, two, three, four, five, at maximum. One, two, three, four, five, go. One, two, three, four, five, stop. Then once again, we reverse it, going one, two, three, four, five, at maximum, hold it. One, two, three, four, five, and then up, one, two, three, four, five, hold, and then down, one, two, three, four, five. And once again with music, all right? We go one, two, three, four, five, hold, one, two, three, four, five. When we get to the maximum, we're ready. One, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, hold, one, two, three, four, five, hold, one, two, three, four, five, go, one, two, four, five. And this is really a lot of fun. And not only that, you're getting smarter all the time. Now we're going to do the military press. This is extremely important for the shoulders. And I warn people if they do have rotator cuff difficulties, this may be one that one wants to do at a very lightweight or possibly avoid. You could speak to your orthopedist or your doctor about that. But here at the uh, Fortinet's Fort Formula, we, we have each patient will be examined by a physical therapist to make sure that they're capable of doing this exercise and really the exercise program is being monitored in such a way that is being specially designed for each individual person. So now the military press, one keeps the elbows down, all right, head up, all right, and we begin. The simple program is five up until it's halfway at maximum strength and we hold it for five and then press it up for five and then down. Ready? Here we go. One, two, three, four, five. Hold. One, two, three, four, five. Go. One, two, three, four, five. Hold. And remember, I'm not extending the, the arms all the way out. I'm keeping them so that they're still being, uh, they're still straining. And this is called both concentric and eccentric. Now we're coming down, which is eccentric. Alrighty. One, two, three, four, five, hold, one, two, three, four, five, go, one, two, three, four, five. And once again, you don't go all the way down. When you get to the bottom, it's hold and then start straight back up. Now, I always advise, once again, before you start any exercise, do one or two repetitions, you know, nice and slow and smooth, just to make sure that the shoulders are, are uh, warmed up. Okay, Aaron, let's start. Ready? Slow. One, two, three, four, five. Hold. One, two, three, four, five. Go. One, two, three, four, five. Hold. Now down. One, two, three, four, five. Hold. One, two, three, four, five. Down. One, two, three, four, five. Hold. Up. One, two, three, four, five, hold. One, two, three, four, five, go up. Up, 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 down. One, two, three, four, five. All right, good. 
Uh, the next uh, important exercise is the lat pulls. It's always important to make sure that the weight comes down in front of you, never in back of you. So uh, once again, with this exercise, you can do it in two meth methods. One is the advanced, and well, the other one is the beginning. The beginner method, we start with, once again, starting with the arms and extension, coming down at a count of five to a maximum point of strength. One, two, three, four, five. Hold it. One, two, three, four, five. Go. One, two, three, four, five, at least down to the chin. And remember, this is very lightweight, but let me tell you, it's going to burn. And then up again. One, two, three, four, five, hold. One, two, three, four, five, up. One, two, three, four, five, hold. And remember, you're not completely extended. You're constantly keeping the muscle under tension. And once again, this can be done to music. Like one, two, three, four, five. Hold it. One, two, three, four, five. Go. One, two, three, four, five. Hold. One, two, three, four, five. Go. One, two, three, four, five. Go. Hold it. One, two, three, four, five. Go. Two, three, four, five. Hold. One, two, three, four, five. And you, the advanced technique is this holding it three times in the isometric area, the isometric up here, isometric midsection, and isometric all the way down. All right, and then slow in between each one. What you'll do, you'll maximize muscle work and maximize brain growth. Okay, Aaron, uh, let's start. Ready, we're gonna come down five, slow, and then hit a maximum about right there. We'll hold it there for five seconds, then come down to right about below your chin, hold it there for five seconds, and this is going to be the advanced one. And then come up five seconds, and then all the way uh, to where just about you are, a little more flex like that, and you hold that for five seconds. Already, let's begin. Ready? One, two, three, four, five. Hold. One, two, three, four, five. Go. One, two, three, four, five. Hold. One, two, three, four, five. Go. One, two, three, four, five. Hold. One, two, three, four, five. Go. One, two, three, four, five. Hold. One, two, three, four, five. Go, one, two, three, four, five, hold. All right, as you can see, that's the advanced one. You're doing five seconds of isometrics on the top, the middle, and the bottom. For those who are beginning, I advise just doing it at the maximum point. Always remember, if you feel any pain, reduce the weight or stop the exercise. Ask the physical therapist. Yeah, the final exercise that we do for the upper extremity is the tricep press. I had mentioned to you before that this can increase your strength incredibly. I want to tell you, I've almost doubled my strength in the past year. Uh, right now, we have it on, how much is that, uh, 150 pounds? Yeah, Aaron, uh, I'd like you to put down uh, the maximum amount. Uh, how much is that? That's 305. 305 pounds. You're going to have to hold on to my shoulders, otherwise it's going to pick. I don't quite weigh 305 pounds, but, you know, I could if I let my diet go. But on that wonderful formula called the harmonic diet, you're going to lose weight. Okay, you're going to have to hold it down as I do this. And I'm going to just show you something. Ready? Go. And really, this is not that hard. And now let's do it with the Ford formula. One, two, three, four, five, hold. One, two, three, four, five, hold. One, two, three, four, five, hold. One, two, three, four, five, go. One, two, three, four, five, hold. One, two, three, four, five, go. One, two, three, four, five, hold. One, two, three, four, five, now, I don't expect you guys to do that, but let me tell you, you do these exercises, and maybe someday you'll be doing this too.
The final exercise is the curl. It can be done with dumbbells or it can be done with a single bar. Uh, in fact, the tricep curls can also be done with dumbbells as can uh, also the uh, press. So uh, this can be varied according to what type of equipment that you have. Well, let's try it with the dumbbells, right? We extend our arms so that the hands or the palms face forward. Once again, we tighten our abdomen, right? Spread our legs a little bit so that they're shoulder length. We hold it and we slowly bring up to a count of five. One, two, three, four, five. Hold. One, two, three, four, five. Go. One, two, three, four, five. Stop. Down. One, two, three, four, five. Hold. One, two, three, four, five. Go. Two, three, four, five. Stop. Once again, we're never going down all the way. We hold it so that we're always keeping the tension. Then up and once again to music. And a one and a two and a three and a four and a five. One and a two and a three and a four and a five. One and a two and a three and a four and a five. One and a two and a three and a four and a five. One and a two and a three and a four and a five. One and a two and a three and a four and a five. Okay, so that's it for the biceps. Once again, five repetitions. You can do two sets if you want. But what you will see at the end of the fifth repetition, your muscles will be burning. And when that happens, what's happening is that your brain is getting bigger. And not only that, but it's telling your brain to build bigger, stronger, and more muscle. And with the increased lean mass, lean mass, and that is muscle, burns four times as many calories as fat. And yeah, those people who look good are getting skinnier just by looking that way. The next four exercises are probably the most important of the Fort Formula circuit training program. And the reason for that is that these are the ones that increase your stability when you walk and prevent falls and also prevent knee, hip, and back injuries. So I want everybody to pay careful attention to these four exercises and uh, also to always remember that this is a 30-minute program. One can make it a 60-minute program by adding into 10 minutes of aerobic exercises between it. Remember, you're going from one exercise to the other. As you go to the next exercise, you take your pulse, you see if it's in your training range, and you either slow down or speed it up. There's, uh, this is a constant exercise program. With it, you will lose weight. You can lose up to 800 calories per hour with this circuit program, more than almost any other type of exercise. As you know, running for an hour may burn only 200 to 400 calories. So let's begin. We have first the leg press, then we'll have the uh, hamstring curl, we'll have the quadriceps press, and then we'll do the adductors and abductors. Now the press is primarily for the gluteus maximus and also for the quadriceps. Okay, so we start once again with a light weight. Uh, be very careful if you have knee difficulties with this and don't be afraid to make an assistance. Okay, so you get it at a very comfortable distance. And one starts, if you want, you could put your hands on your knees and then push one, two, three, four, five. And once again, we're at a position where you're really at maximum strength right here and you want to hold this for five. One, two, three, four, five. Then go one, two, three, four, five. Once again, never completely straightening out the leg. Uh, you hold it and then come right back slow one two three four five hold one two three four five down one 
two, three, four, five. And then without allowing the weight to rest, you start back right back up. Once again, with the advanced technique, you can do the isometrics here, here, and almost all the way out. But once again, always leaving tension in the quadriceps. This builds your quadriceps extremely important for walking upstairs and general uh, holding the stability of the spine and the hips when you're walking. Yeah, well now we're going to do hip adduction. Remember, this is the one that takes care of the gluteus medius. As you remember, when we were doing the isometric slow exercise fort formula uh, at home, what we did was we put our hands on the side and we moved our legs out, pressing outwards. This one, well, we don't need our hands. We can keep them on the side. And there's various different machinery if you have this at your gym. There's another type that I can show you later on uh, that does the exact same thing if you do not have this machine itself. All right, with the, you adduct the legs, that is you bring them in. Um, and then what we'll do is the count of five. We bring it out to a maximum spot. Then we take it all the way out for another five and then come back in. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, hold. One, two, three, four, five, go, two, three, four, five, to maximum extension, and then right back in, one, two, three, four, five, hold, and you hold it for five seconds, one, two, three, four, five, go, one, two, three, four, five, hold, remember you're not letting the weights touch down, always keeping that tension as soon as you're there, the count of five, you start right back, you stop, and go up. One, two, three, four, five. If you're getting pain in your hip, it may mean that you have some degenerative hip disease. So just go through the range that you can tolerate without feeling pain. This is one, by far, one of the most important exercises that you can do, especially if you're 70 years of age and older. It's extremely important for people who play uh, sports such as tennis, racquetball. Um, the adductors are the ones that get the weakest and cause most of the injuries and falls when you're trying to do lateral movement. It's very important for those uh, men who play golf. Okay. Now we're at the knee extensions. Once again, the same formula. Already? Up for five, one, two, three, four, five. At maximum, hold it there for five, one, two, three, four, five. All the while, making sure that your core is tight, your buttocks are tight. This will increase your core strength and make it much less likely that you'll have any falls and markedly improve your gait. Once again, we held it for five, and then we go up. One, two, three, four, five. You stop, and then quick down. One, two, three, four, five. Actually, it's not quick down. It's a very slow. Once again, holding it at maximum. One, two, three, four, five. That's the isometric part. And then back down. One, two, three, four, five. Never relaxing those legs. All right, and then as soon as we hit at the end of five, Come right back up, one, two, three, four, five. Stop, hold, one, two, three, four, five. Up, one, two, three, four, five. Hold, once again to music, one, two, three, four, five. At maximum, you can pump, one, two, three, four, five. Down, one, two, three, four, five. Go, one, two, three, four, five. This is fun. Okay, and now the final exercise, this is for the hamstrings. Okay, and these are the leg flexors. All right, once again, down, one, two, three, four, five. The point of maximum, you hold it for five. One, two, three, four, five. Once again, holding that abdomen firm. And then one, two, three, four, five. Hold it there, and then up again. One, two, three, four, five. At maximum strength, one, two, three, four, five. That's the isometric. And then up, one, two, three, four, five. 
never letting the legs relax and then back down again one two three four five hold it and you don't have to do it in increments you could do it very smoothly and each one of these exercises could either be done with a bounce if you're listening to music or very slowly holding it and then up again always resisting so you're using the eccentric and concentric muscles at all times uh, people will often ask me, why is the Ford formula, or the Ford Today's exercise formula, different from the regular repetitions that one usually does? Why does one set in the Ford formula circuit program really equal three sets or more of the usual program? Let me give you an example. Because really, what counts to the muscle is the amount of work that it has done. Now, Usually, if you're doing a routine set, and let's say we're using 100 pounds, well, at 100 pounds, you may be taxing the joints, you may be taxing the tendons, and you can possibly be hurting yourself. But let's say we use 100 pounds for this exercise. Uh, you do 15 repetitions. The usual repetitions, if they do it like most people do, are a little bit about a second, maybe a tad more. Well, at one second, 100 pounds, 15 reps, it equals the total work of 1,500. With the Fortinet's formula slow burn set, you use 50 pounds, you're not taxing the joints, you're not taxing the tendons, it's safe, it's slow, and you do five repetitions. But each repetition takes 20 seconds. In all actuality, it takes almost 25 seconds. That means at 20 seconds each, you've done 5,000. Three, more than three times three sets doing 100. And this is one of the reasons why you build so much power and you stimulate the brain on every single exercise that you do and why in time you will hypertrophy. That is, the muscle will get bigger, stronger, you will look better, you will look more youthful, and you will be much brighter. It is true that brawn builds brain. Thank you, I'm Dr. Vince Fortinace, and I hope that you will read the Anti-Alzheimer's Prescription and come and join us here at Fortinace & Associates for the DEAR program.